We'll talk about what is the Revenue Cloud Advanced RCA, the components of a Revenue Cloud. We'll look into the example and also we understand the history of Revenue Cloud. First of all, let's understand what is Revenue Cloud Advanced. Basically, it was known as a Revenue Lifecycle Management before. Basically, it's a bunch of software or platform which are designed to automate your revenue operations, meaning all your sales part, marketing, customer success, legal, finance under one platform. So basically, this is a set of software which are helping to manage the entire customer journey from the first time they make a contact to the final sale and beyond so let's take an example of the whole journey of a client a customer as of now would want to buy a product from you we need to identify and create an opportunity and we connect with the customer gather all the requirements we create a code now customer is happy with that code we create a contract we get all the signatures and formalities being fulfilled validation is happening for the client basically customer we generate an order now order is shipped basically it's fulfilled and we generate a bill of that. That's basic a journey of a customer from starting when they were a part of a lead, converting into an opportunity, uh, getting the order, build and now we have a revenue coming into the organization. That's what revenue cloud is working on. So overall to summarize in a layman terms, we have a customer, we are sending a code, a contract is signed, a order is fulfilled. That is what a revenue cloud is do doing under one umbrella as of now. In technical terms, revenue cloud contain all these major components. First of them is catalog. Then we have a CPQ, we have contracts, we have orders, we have assets, we have billing. You need to understand it is all built on Salesforce platform itself. It is part of that core functionality itself. On that, the revenue cloud is running. Apart from these components, it is having a subscription and consumption model and all other clouds which pre-exist. Even if you talk about if you have experience of Salesforce industries, you must know Omni Studio is also part of a revenue cloud package itself. Now, let's go one step deeper into all those uh, components which are available in revenue cloud. You have your product catalog and pricing, which contains your product catalog management, your product configurator, price, Salesforce pricing and rate management. Basically, as product catalog is a catalog product, you configure those products, add a pricing model into that and rate management in the sense you need to modify the rate based on the requirement. For example, someone is ordering a bulk shipment of 10 iPhones as a B2B customer, you give a 5% discount to them. It's a part of a rate management. Then you have second part of this. Um, CA is transaction management and order to cash. Basically, all the transaction is managed as a part of a CPQ and order to cash is basically the order was done by the client and now cash has flown to the company which processed that order as a part of a revenue. That's a, the configuration part. Configure pricing at code code as a code part and then we asset lifecycle management. Basically, once the order have been coating is done, it's a part of an asset. Basically, your iPhone is an asset now. Then you have a dynamic revenue orchestration which is called DRO as part of a orchestration which was known as order management before in Salesforce Industries is renamed like this followed by the very important component which is called Salesforce contract which are known as contract lifecycle management all your contracts your is managed the signature the docusan everything is managed inside that followed by the billing component which contains your invoicing management it contains your invoice calculation bill and payment processing I know it's theory so far give me an example in a layman terms I'm Imagine you have a customer who want to buy iPhone. So iPhone is added to a catalog, which is part of a product catalog management. We are talking about RLM, basically RCA now. So you have a name, let's say you configure that product catalog in the form of a iPhone 17 Pro Max. You have a storage as a part of 128 GB, you have 256 GB, you have accessories available. That was a product catalog management. Now it is followed by you apply your pricing and rate management. So you have a base price of let's say 1299 and then you have a promotion of 10%. Now you can get an idea what is a rate, a rate management. Basically, you're applying a tier discount to a B2B seller. Basically, you say 5% off for all the 10 plus this client is doing. That's a part of a rate management. Now you configure your product with product configurator. Basically, you select iPhone 17. So you add the Apple Care, all those functionalities. Then you have your coating. That's this is a very important part, which is the CPQ, which came in 2015. Configure pricing code. You configure the product, add into the bucket. Basically, it's just going to Amazon and buying the products that you want to do. Now you are part of those products are added into a cart. It's called a part of a code line items in Salesforce. After that product is treated as an active asset, then which is followed by asset lifecycle management because you might be doing an amendment, same level thing you need to do in Salesforce industries before. Now after that, you have all your contracts being managed for that iPhone. Basically, you have uh, Apple Care Plus contract signed. You have your shipping uh, information being signed. And 
and then after that we have your DRO which fulfilled that order basically it's checking that iPhone shipped is from the warehouse is being shipped Apple I, I care plus is applied digitally everything shipping and activation is enabled as a part of a DRO once that is being delivered you have doing an invoicing management and a billing you are sending an invoice on the base product your tax is calculated by the region billing schedule is triggered and then you try to upsell that client using the agent force capabilities basically you predict likelihood of renewal of Apple care plus uh, all that is managed as part of a revenue cloud system itself let me give you an example while showcasing in the Salesforce ecosystem so let's search product catalog management so this is the very important component of revenue cloud inside that you can see all the products that's being um, part of a bundle you can check their attributes so from here in the catalog part you can see their attributes pick list products classification for this video I'm not going into the details of this but in the future we'll have a more detailed level videos coming on revenue cloud because our team is an expert in revenue cloud we are implementing for a lot of clients based on that we wanted to share this with the community only thing we need from you is support just subscribe to our channel and share your doubts in the comments so we can handle that in future videos okay let's come back here so you can see this part of a catalog you have your categories available let me go here in the catalog if you go to the catalog let's say imagine you are in a hardware catalog you can see the laptop as part of the product inside that you can configure the categories if you want to create any subcategories everything can be managed in the catalog bundle second then obviously we'll talk about price management this if you go to the app launcher and select price management you can see price books products pricing procedures everything is configured in the part of basically the price books and then we have our rate management where we give a bulk discount on a particular type of clients let's say you configure bulk discount it can be configured here then you can have a card type rate card you can select tier attribute or base and then you can see what type it's effective date from that can be configured and after this configuration has been done you go to quote so inside the quotes let's open any uh, quote here it is already accepted but you can browse the catalog inside that this is the same products that we had before which i showed you you can add those products once it's configured here and then obviously after the coating is done the products is being added into that the quote line items have been created this will follow this with uh, our salesforce contracts followed by the dro process so this was the overall picture of a revenue cloud but most of the people are confused what was the history of revenue cloud so just to give you a context just go back in the history everything started from steel brick acquisition by salesforce in 2015 which was renamed as salesforce cpq in 2016 and then which was part of a revenue cloud later in 2020 which contained your capabilities like it was basically cpq bundle plus billing and clm was introduced to create a bundle called revenue cloud so revenue cloud is not a new concept it have been from 2020 but obviously a lot of enhancements have happened but on the other side velocity was another company which was founded in 2014 under uh, mr david schumeyer uh, i have personally worked in velocity uh, when it was formed in that time like 2016 2017 era so it was later renamed as velocity industries cloud and uh, basically not renamed the industry clouds were launched for example you have a com cloud you have insurance cloud you have um, a public sector cloud later so many clouds were launched that was part of a velocity industries but this was acquired by salesforce in 2020 out of that came salesforce industries basically industry cpq which was very much popular and it was renamed in last year basically 2024 as revenue life cycle management which is now known as rca now and one more thing to add here is salesforce cpq is becoming end of a sale already march 2025 everything is part of rca basically revenue cloud advance or it was known as rlm before so a lot of changes are happening even we were there in the latest world tour event of salesforce everyone was talking about rca that was behind the scene what how revenue cloud have evolved during the years thank you for watching this video do share and subscribe to our channel we'll have a lot of future video content coming on revenue cloud and we will love to get your feedback thank you